Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Welcome to this full body vinyasa power flow. Um, we are going to be moving quite fluidly today, um, working into some balance and kind of moving the whole body. Um, so we're gonna start in a comfortable in a comfortable standing position. So feet roughly hip width apart on your mat, just meeting into Dasana Mountain Pose. Um, as always, please do listen to your body throughout the practice. Have your blocks, props there to support you. Um, I would recommend if you like to sometimes work with a strap, having a strap with you today. Um, and yeah, so getting all the bits ready and then coming to our standing position closing down the eyes to start with or taking a steady gaze out in front. And I want you to start to notice where your breath's traveling to within your body. As you inhale, imagine that you're drawing energy up from the ground into the feet, the legs, all the way up to your heart. And then on your exhale, I want you to imagine that you're releasing that breath, that energy, slowly all the way back down the body, all the way down to the ground. Two more of these, inhaling, going at your own pace, Draw your energy up from the ground, into the body, all the way up to the heart center. On your exhale, release your breath, all the way back down to the ground. Notice any sensations in the hands or the feet. Notice any energy that you can feel connecting to the body. Opening the eyes back up when you're ready. And we're gonna bring the hands actually behind the back and interlace the fingers. <laughs> Inhale, open across the chest, roll the shoulders back. But as you do this, I want you to draw your belly button in towards the spine. So opening across the chest and the heart space, but we're not flaring out through the ribs and sitting into our lumbar spine, the lower back. We're drawing the belly in towards the spine. The pelvis is drawing up and in towards the body. Release the hands, interlace them out in front this time. Reach the hands out in front, exhale, drop the head down. So chin's coming down towards the chest. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Feeling that opening into the back of the body. Nice, and come back to neutral. Take a couple of shoulder rolls here. Now, standing on the left leg, we're gonna hug this right leg, hugging this right knee in towards the chest. And then from here, release the left hand, bring the left hand to the side, and see if you can open this right leg out to the side. You can either keep your hand here to support or see if you can bring that hand away, holding it here. And can you draw the right knee in back to center with control? Release the right leg down to the mat. Coming onto the other side, so start with hugging that left knee in. Release the right hand to the side. Start to draw that left knee out to the side. You can keep the left hand here for support or see if you can bring the hands to heart center. Can you hold here, perhaps finding a drishti here, find that gazing point. Now flow the left knee back into center with control and release that left leg back down to the mat. Well done, take a little shake out through the legs if you need to. Come to the top of your mat, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky, lift the ribs away from the hips, Siru Namaskar A. 
exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips, bend the legs as much as you need to. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, step or jump the feet back to plank. Work through your chaturanga, so either inhaling into an upward facing dog or cobra, or dropping the knees down, taking your cobra of course if you need to. Exhale, press the mat away with the hands, lift the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Breathing here, lifting the hips to the sky, checking in with the legs, the hips, the arms, observing the body, the mind. Inhale, gaze comes between the hands, step or jump the feet in, lift your chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend the legs as much as you need to. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky, grow the spine tall. Exhale, hands come through to heart centre. And again, inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step or jump back to plank. Work through your chaturanga, inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. If you're taking upward facing dog, make sure the thighs are coming away from the mat. Exhale, hips come to the sky, downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath. Remember, child's pose is there for you at any time. Take what you need from this practice today. Inhale, step your right foot through between the hands. Reach the fingertips up to the sky, high lunge. Power through into your right leg, find your warrior three. Left foot's pressing out behind. Stay with the breath, hips are nice and square, using your blocks if you need to, so having the hands on the blocks here if you wish to. See if with control, start to lift your chest away from the warrior three, bring your left knee back in towards the chest. So we're gonna find our hand to big toe pose now. So bringing your peace fingers around the big toe and then we start to lengthen that left leg out in front and you can bring your right hand to the right hip. Now this leg doesn't have to be straight. You can keep a bend in the leg and it's actually better to keep a bend in the leg if that helps you to get this, keep your space across the chest so we're not rounding the spine. You can use your strap here as well. Then we're opening this left leg out to the side. Maybe you have a wall next to you as I do. <laughs> kind of helping me, kind of not. <laughs> See if you could send your gaze over to the right. An extra little bit of challenge there for you if you wish to take it. Then we draw that left leg back into centre. Well done for staying with me. Release the left hand from the left leg. See if you can hold that left leg out in front. Bend through the left leg. Bring your hand to that left leg and you're gonna find your tree pose. So the sole of my left foot's coming to the inside of the right thigh, or it could be coming to the calf. You could have the toes connected to the mat. Breathing here. See if you can grow your tree tall. Don't worry if your tree is blowing in the wind, that's okay. Breathe into it, accept where you are today. Now releasing the hands back down to heart center, 
we're going to take a big step back, come into a wide leg position, toes are pointing forwards, hands come to the hips, inhale, reach the crown of the head to the ceiling, exhale, floating forwards, keeping the spine long, so hinging from the hips, finding our Prasarita Padatanasana. So you can always stay higher up or you're going to bring the peace fingers around the big toes. Drop the head down, elbows coming out to the side. Reconnecting with the breath. Releasing the hands, you can bring them back to the hips. Inhale, keep the spine long, start to lift the chest, pressing the feet down and away, taking deep breaths as you come back up. And we're gonna float the arms around to frame that front foot. Step it back to plank and work through your vinyasa. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhaling back to your downward facing dog. Hips are reaching towards the ceiling. Taking a child's pose if you need to. Inhale, this time we sweep the left foot through between the hands. Reach the fingertips up to the sky. Find your high lunge. Lifting up and out from the waist. Hands come through to heart center, power into your left leg, find your warrior three. Right foot's reaching out behind, hips are square. Remember, if you need to come in and out of the poses multiple times, that is just as much part of this practice as holding a pose. We're still building joint stability, strength, focus, concentration. Different days, things will feel different and will be different. <laughs> now, seeing if we can lift the chest and draw this right knee in towards the chest. Don't worry if you added in a couple of extra steps there. So, peace fingers come to the right big toe. Right leg lengthens out in front, left hand can come to the left hip. You can take your strap here. Taking the strap is a really nice option to take. Breathing here, keep that space across the chest. Opening that right leg out to the side now. Sending the gaze over to the left side. Just an option. <laughs> Breathing here. Now bringing that right leg back to center. See if with control, you can release the hands, holding that right leg out in front. Well done, bend the right leg. Sole of the right foot comes to the left leg, finding tree pose. Grow your tree tool. That standing left leg's really working hard now. <sighs> Keep breathing. Keep lifting through the body in your tree. Imagine you're drawing energy in from the ground into that left foot and it's traveling all the way up the body through a center line of energy all the way through to the crown of your head, lifting you tall. Well done, float the hands through to heart center, release that right leg, take a big step back, find a wide leg position on your mat, toes pointing forwards, hands come to the hips, Inhale, lift your ribs away from your hips. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Forward fold, finding our Prasarita Padatanasana. You can stay higher up. You can come lower down. Option to bring the peace fingers back around the big toes. Bending the elbows out to the side, drawing that crown of the head down towards the mat. But only if that feels good for you. Turning your breath into the backs of the legs.
and bringing the hands back to the hips inhale slowly start to lift the chest away from the ground keeping the spine long deep breaths as you come back up and from here floating our way round to frame that front foot step back to plank and vinyasa inhaling upward facing dog or cobra exhaling back to our downward facing dog on your next inhale we're going to sweep this right foot through between the hands and i want you to open out the arms bring the left heel down to the mat find a warrior two position send your gaze over your right fingertips flip the right palm up so that it's facing the ceiling inhale lift up and out from the waist finding your reverse warrior imagine that you're shooting energy through the right fingertips here legs are staying the same breathing exhale floating forwards come into your extended side angle option to bring this right hand down to the mat breathing here inhale come back up finding your warrior two lengthen through that right leg inhale reaching forwards 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 hinging from the waist tipping from the waist binding trigonasana gaze comes up to the ceiling and again here staying higher up if that helps you to keep the space across the chest we're not rounding the spine inhale come back up to your warrior two and float the hands around to frame that front right foot step it back and vinyasa inhaling upward facing dog or cobra exhaling back to downward facing dog finding the breath Feeling that prana, that life force energy as you breathe. Imagine this energy filling up the body, nourishing it. Noticing if you can feel that heat, that energy that we've created so far throughout this practice. Inhale, sweep the left foot through between the hands open out find that warrior two flip the left palm so that it's facing the ceiling inhale lift up and out from the waist find that reverse warrior deep deep stretch through the left side body strong through the legs strong through the root of our pose exhale floating into your extended side angle coming over that front leg breathing here keep the back leg nice and switched on if it's having a little rest <laughs> inhale come back to warrior two lengthen through the left leg reaching forwards 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 with the left fingertips then we're tipping from the waist finding our triangle pose gaze comes up to the sky coming higher up if you need to again check in with that right leg sometimes it likes to have a little rest it's making sure that everything's switched on stability is a full body affair <laughs> something from my yoga teacher training that i'll never forget <laughs> inhale coming back to your warrior two well done and float the arms around step back to plank position and vinyasa inhale upward facing dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog breathing lifting those hips to the sky lengthening the spine relax the head
inhale, send the gaze between the hands, step or jump the feet in, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky, grow the spine tall, exhale, hands through heart centre, pause here for a moment. Notice how the ground feels beneath your feet. Now step this right foot back, or whichever foot means that you can come to a place where you can see me. And then we're bringing the feet slightly further than hip width apart. Toes are pointing out towards the little corners of your mat, hands to heart center. Inhale here, as you exhale, bending through the legs, sit the hips down to the mat, finding your malasana. You can take a block under the hips here, you can roll the mat up and have that under the heels if you've got some space there. Take any modifications, crown of the head and lifting towards the ceiling. Engage through Mula Bandha, so we're engaging from the root, our root lock. So switching on the muscles at the seat of the pelvis, the pelvic floor, sending that message, locking our energy. Well done, bring the hips down to the mat in whatever way you see fit. And then we're gonna bend, we're gonna bend both legs in as if you're kind of coming to cross your legs. We're gonna keep this right leg bent in with our left leg, bring your right hand to the outside edge of the left foot and we're gonna wrap this left arm around the outside of the left leg. So coming into this rock the baby position, I'm not sure that that's its official name, but it sounds kind of accurate. So <laughs> we're gonna take a rock here from side to side. Now, your first option is gonna to be to stay and work with this. If you would like to work with your sundial pose or that's already in your practice, then we're gonna take this now. So for sundial, this right hand is coming to the outside edge of your left foot. And then what we're doing is we're lengthening through that left leg, opening that left leg out to the side and then this, this left arm is threading through and maybe that hand's coming down to the mat and our head is coming <laughs> underneath this right arm. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is quite a strong place to be. So if it doesn't feel right or you wanna take a modification, then please do stay with the first option. Breathing here. Well done, slowly start to release. Bring that left leg down. So now we'll come to the other side. So left leg staying bent in this time. We'll start with cradling our right leg. So the left hand can come to the outside edge of your right foot. Right arm is wrapping around and we're moving this right leg in a kind of rocking movement, I mean, what we're doing here is we're moving into this right hip joint, the right hip space, okay? So if you're working your sundial, this time we've got the right hand coming to the, no, the left hand coming to the outside edge of the right foot. So left hand, outside edge of the right foot. Then we're lengthening this right leg up to the sky my right arms thread through, fingers coming down to the mat. Heads coming in between the arm and the leg. Breathing here. Just remembering, never force anything. If it doesn't feel right for you, it's not right in your body today, then you don't need to take it. One more breath here. And start to release, come away, come into a comfortable seated position. And take a shoulder roll here. 
and then I want you to bring your hands, we've got the palms of the hands facing the ceiling, one hand underneath the other and the tips of the thumbs are touching, so this is our Dhyan Mudra. So this is a symbol of receiving wisdom, receiving new energy. So closing down the eyes or taking a steady gaze for a moment here. And just checking in with if there's anything in particular that you'd like to receive, what kind of energy would you like to bring in today? you'd like to take with you perhaps for the rest of the day or the rest of the week. You can set an intention here if that feels good too. slowly beginning to open the eyes back up if you had them closed. Starting to come away from the practice. If you have longer, please do take a Shavasana meditation here if you can. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. Um, please do comment and feedback to me on how you're getting on and do subscribe to this channel. Um, to help support this kind of free yoga resource. I do have links below to the other things that I offer. So I do do a really lovely live Sunday Zoom class um, where we do a vinyasa flow. It's a really lovely group, so I'd love it if you would join me on that or my online membership, where which includes the live Zoom class and we also have longer, more in-depth practices on their meditations, asana alignment, etc. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.